So everybody's telling you invest in a Roth IRA, but there's just one problem. Nobody's really telling you exactly how to open this IRA, so you know what? Professor G's got your back. Follow step-by-step step along with me so that you can start your own Roth IRA and not have to pay somebody else to do this for you. This video is gonna be awesome because it's gonna make it so that you can take advantage of that compound interest later on in life when you pull out that money when you're retired. You don't have to worry about taxes at all, zero. If that sounds good to you, click that like button and let's get started. So there are many different places that you can start your Roth IRA. Some of my favorites are Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Fidelity. There's a bunch of them out there. For me personally, I use Charles Schwab and so I'm going to take you through how to do it on charlesschwab.com, but you can follow these exact same directions for any one that you choose. So first we're going to type in Charles Schwab and right here, we're gonna go ahead and click open an account. We are going to pull down to Roth IRA right here under retirement. On this, they're going to tell you exactly what you're gonna need. Some type of address, your social security number, and an employer's name and mailing address. All that they're trying to do at this step is just figure out what type of customer you're going to be. It doesn't matter particularly how much money you make, like if you're making $30,000 a year versus $100,000 a year, they kind of wanna know what type of customer you're gonna be. They also wanna quickly be able to rule you out if you're making too much money. So anyway, we're gonna go down to, I'm new to Charles Schwab. And then right here, you're just gonna put in all of your personal information. And then after you've made your login info with just your normal address and things like that, then they're going to ask about your employment status. Just type in that you're employed, put in whatever type of job that you have, enter all that in as far as annual income liquid net worth again they're just trying to figure out what type of customer you are and they're trying to see if they can sell you different type of products maybe down the road or whatever but remember right now you're not buying anything you don't have to pay them to do anything at this point we're just making a login we're just making an account the same way that you would make like a checking account or a savings account make fifteen thousand dollars a year great if you make hundred thousand dollars a year great as far as your liquid net worth this again doesn't really matter either but again they're just trying to figure out who you are so if you have twenty thousand dollars in the bank and ten thousand dollars worth of other assets then maybe put in thirty thousand dollars if your liquid net worth is a thousand dollars or something then just put a thousand dollars in now i'm not actually going to continue making this because i already have an account but what you're going to do then is after putting in all the personal information then the account features, like what is it that you're looking for? And for you guys, it's just going to be a Roth IRA. Terms and conditions is the exact same thing as when you're starting a bank account or something of that nature. I would read through all of that for sure. Funding here, this part is just how much money do you wanna put into your account as of right now? Most people start with a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, whatever. Whatever it's going to be, it doesn't really matter. Just put the money in and then that's going to be that step. Now, I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to make sure that you're a real person and they're going to probably send you an email with an access code. That might take a day or two, so you might not be able to do all of this in one day. From there, you can hook up your bank account to this so that you can just transfer money in the exact same way that you transfer between funds. So now you need to remember that once you put money into the account, it's the exact same thing as if you just put money into a savings account. You're just putting the money there, but if you don't do anything with the money, it's just gonna sit there. That's not how we make that exciting compound interest. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to actually invest that money. So what you're gonna wanna do is go up to trade up here. We're making sure that we have it in our Roth IRA, and if that's the only thing that you've opened through Charles Schwab, then that'll be your default. For me, I have multiple different things like a regular IRA, and a brokerage account all through Charles Schwab. So mine is set to my Roth right here. And we wanna look up whatever ticker symbol of whatever it is that we want to invest in. Let's say we wanted to invest into Apple. We can find Apple. We see that it cost $177. If we wanted to buy that, then we could. If we want to invest in the S&P 500 through Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, VU. We could also look up other S&P 500 symbols too, like SPY, SPY, whichever one it is that you're looking for. And let's say that we wanted to buy one share of SPY. Then we're gonna go down here to buy. Probably not going to buy 100 shares. So let's just say we're going to buy one here. Very important that you reinvest the dividends. 
especially since this is a long-term account, this is for retirement, you're gonna want those dividends reinvested every time that they come out, which is just going to add to that compounding. To reinvest the dividend, we're gonna want it to be a market order. So it just means that whatever this cost is, that's what we're willing to pay. And then click review order here. And for me personally, I don't have enough money in my account because everything is invested at this point. So I can't actually buy this because it says I have $32 when this costs $456. But if it were, if I did have enough, then I would just go down here, click place order and boom, you're done. So within your Roth IRA, you can have things like ETFs and index funds. You could also have individual companies like I was showing you, Apple or Microsoft or Amazon or whatever it is that you'd like. Remember that everything that goes into your IRA or Roth IRA or any retirement account, you need to have in the mindset that it's going to be there for a very long time because you can't touch it till 59 and a half. So just put a little bit of money away every month, make it a habit. You can even automate it to make it so that just $100 of your paycheck goes straight into that Roth IRA every month. Compound interest is just your best friend the earlier that you get it into the market. If we literally only put $100 into the market for 45 years at 11% per year, you're looking at $1.2 million. So while $100 seems small, it really adds up long-term, especially if you get started early. Good luck opening up those Roth IRAs and please let me know if you have any questions.